everyone. This is R. Suresh Kumar working as assistant professor, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, uh, Hyderabad. So today we will uh, in this lecture so we will discuss about the embankment dams, types of the embankment dams, and how um, types of uh, how the ethan dams can be types, and also how the failures of the ethan dams and the causes of preventive control of ethan dams can be discussed in today's lecture. Let us see that one embankment dams. This embankment dams can be also uh, called as ethan dams. And embankment dams is built up with the compounding of the successive locally available ethan materials using the most impervious materials. Uh, impermeables of the core and placing uh, the more uh, permeable, uh, permeable substance on the upstream and downstream sides. This is the, the um, definition of the ethanol. Most probably we know everything that uh, dams, ethanol dams can prepare the um, <coughs> locally available ethanol materials only. Next, uh, ethanol dams can be based on method of construction. It can be bifurcated into two types. First one is uh, rock field dams. What is meant by rock field dams? And earthen dams is the which is more than 50% of the total volume is comprised of the compacted of the impervious uh, of natural or crushed rocks we call it as rock field dams. The, uh, simply we call it as prepared with the rock, uh, uh, rocks can be uh, pervious natural available materials we call it as rock field dam. And roll field dam, what is meant by roll field dam? In the roll field dam, the embankment dam is a ethan dam of the available of the material is placed in the layer and compacted by the rolls or rolling equipments. So we call it as a roll type of the dams. This is the two types can be based on the construction of the ethan embankment dams. <coughs> Let us uh, types of the embankment dams. Types of embankment dams. The first one is a homogeneous ethan dam. And second one is modified homogeneous earthen dam. And third one is zoned earthen dam. And fourth one is diaphragm earthen dam. These are the generally we consider it as types of the embankment dams. Uh, next, homogeneous earthen dam. In the homogeneous earthen dam, here we have to see that one. <coughs> uh, what is a uh, zone type earthen dam? These are the types of the diagrams which is available. So let us see that one, what is meant to be home, homogeneous ethan dams. Uh, <coughs> homogeneous ethan dams nothing but the, the single type of the materials can be used for the uh, preparation of the dams we call as the uh, ethan dams. Preparation by making of this uh, ethan dams, single type of the materials of the earth, of the impervious materials we call as we call homogeneous ethan dam. Next one is a modified homogeneous ethan dams. In the modified homogeneous ethan dams, we call it an internal drainage system. Let us see that the internal drainage system can be provided here in the bottom. So provided, it is a periodic line which is the uh, dam reduced the pore water pressure can be from one side to another side. It can be traveled from top to bottom through the mm, filters. It can be remove the water from the inside the dam. So the, the, steeper, the steeper side of the stone can also can be possible to have the modified homogeneous ethan dams. Next to zone type ethan dams. What is meant by zone type ethan dams? In the zone type ethan dams, one or more than one type materials can be prepared. So here in the previously one or materials can be prepared. In the zone type ethan dams composed one uh, consists of the central impervious core. This is called central impervious core. Can be constructed. Uh, previous materials can be upstream or downstream side. Both sides we have to provide it inside. One of, the, one of the vertical core can be constructed to the uh, protect the ethan dams. The seepage are materials uh, to protect the whole ethan dams. That is the uh, one of the uh, impervious core. So the another inclined core can be also provided. This is also one of the type can be provided. Inclined type of the core is also provided. These are the two type of the zone type earthen dams. Generally zone types nothing but it is also be, seems to be uh, 
uh, attendance, but in, in internally which have to be constructed for the protection of the total earth dams. Next to diaphragm, what is meant by diaphragm? Uh, simply we consider diaphragm is nothing but it is also uh, a thin core, thin core of the earth and dams. In the previous one, this one is, let us see that a diagram, this is can be a spread of more than the half of the portion. But here, in the, the diaphragm means it consists of the thin impervious core is called diaphragm. Diaphragm is also we think as a wall also, we think it's a wall also. And difference between the zone and diaphragm dome at the dams is one of the thickness only, thickness of the core. If the thickness of the core of the, any of the elevation is less than the height of the dam, above less than uh, above then or 10 meters, then the, the dam is constructed as diaphragm dam. We call it as diaphragm dam. So that is the diaphragm. That is there is a three different uh, <coughs> There are the four types as we discussed. So in the vertical core is also same but the width will be the less when compared with the uh, zone type dam. So here diaphragm dam, the wall thickness, the uh, upstream side and downstream side, it can be protected. And that it is also inclined from one of the diaphragm is also protecting the upstream side. It is also one of the wall can be constructed here to protect the earth and dams. This is this type of thickness is only major criteria for the diaphragm and zone uh, type earthen dams. So this is the uh, types of earthen dams. So let us see that one here. Uh, major diagram of the internal core are uh, so let us see top width how much the core we uh, the center one we call it as core and the transition filters can be provided and both upstream side and downstream side and the filters can be provided in the sides and the internal drainage and also filters in the downstream side can be through the water which is comes here and can be removed through the filters in the toe and also uh, relate uh, wells can be provided to protect the walls and the upstream side and wave protection and transition filters. These are some of the main uh, construction of the earthen dams of the components. So let us see that one <coughs> design criteria. In the construction of the earthen dams of the design criteria, it means that the prevent hydraulic failures must be done at uh, design by erosion embankment prevented or any of the purpose of the steps to be followed. What are the steps to be followed? The first one is the spillway capacity is insufficient to pass the peak flow. That is the main important in the earthen dam. Whenever you have to construct the spillway, the capacity will be the more when pass we can require. That is the first point. Second point to reduce the over topping to, uh, in the topmost region. Uh, so that's why you can uh, provide the topmost the region can be increases. The spillway capacity of the dam can be increases some of the height. Next to uh, erosion to the embankment due to the wave action in the surface doesn't occur. So that is one of the point. The next one is the crest should be provided, should be with the withstand wave action of the earthquake. Due to the wave action of the earthen dams, the, there is a lot of um, also can be seepage control can be collapsible, may be possible to let us discuss in the next slides what are the failures can be how the earth dams can be faced. So this is on the design criteria. Next, the second point is meant to prevent the failures due to the seepage. How the it can be failure due to the seepages? So the quantity of the seepage of the water should be seepage. Fundamental should be limited. <coughs> Next, the seepage action should be within the downstream of the phase to the down prevent of the uh, slogging. That is the second point of the seepage uh, prevent of the failure of the seepage. Next, CP is water through the dam of the foundation should not be, should not be removed any of the practices and <coughs> or any other words cause of piping. So these are the uh, piping, let us discuss in the next slides also. This should be of the leakage of the water in the upstream and as a downstream side, such leakages can be provided and also can be 
uh, conceived uh, at and dams uh, sections can in pervious course can be and drainage filters can be as usual we are providing the holes uh, in the adequate of the animals to provide the is any of the bodies cannot be uh, carefully have to observe so in the inside the outside the at and dams next third point is uh, to prevent structure failures uh, to upstream and downstream slope of the embankment should be loading conditions within the it may be subject to including the earthquake so in this earthquake region while construction of the at and dam uh, you have to be carefully watch whether the area will be construction of the dam will be a which type of the action zone that is the main in the masonry dam construction is also very important to the at the dam due to the major of the failures of the dams can be not uh, uh, at the at the uh, at the peaks this is the also one of the biggest problem to failure of the uh, dams next a uh, design criteria of the at the dam how the design criteria uh, of the at the dam can be the major thing is top it pre board and settlement of allowance and casing and outer shell and also cut off trenches so downstream drainage system so these are the one of design of the at the dams let us see the selection of the crest the crest of the width dams determined by only the roadway the top of that one in the roadway so the top width we also using as a roadway for this construction and generally it can be varies to 6 to 12 meters the width will be the uh, maybe 12 meters so vehicle can be easily to move so that is the top width can be provided 6 to 8 as per our requirements sir in other dimensions have been uh, you have also provided not less than the 6 meters and also the provided but it should be less than 3 meters because it is minimum needed to be proceeded to permit the maintenance of the works sir be if it is the width will be not available of the 6 meters and 12 meters at least we have to provided 3 meters is the must for the uh, providing of the top width so uh, at least the 5 meters will be adopted permanently to the crest so the answer such situations this is also protect the dam in the top also that is important minimum providing of the top width uh, next to so how the uh, the height so for this different type of the conditions are given for low height dams what happens the height is less than 10 meters what will, the width should be how you can design the purposes b is equal to h by 5 plus 3 where is equal to h of the dam can be the take it as this value can be the height will be the less than 10 meters next one for dams with the height of uh, Less than 10 meters to 30 meters is in the range of 10 meters to 30 meters. The base width will be 0.55 h plus h by 2. Next, the dams higher than the 30 meters. The third condition is greater than 30 meters. As 1.65 into h plus 1.5 divided into 1 by 3. This is the consideration of the base width can be allowed. next to the top width will be not as than 3 meters for any height of the dam this is the minimum requirement as we discussed in the previous slide so that is the minimum top width for maintenance purposes we have to provide that the 3 meters is the must so 3 meters to 6 meters and 6 to 12 meters that is the uh, top width of the uh, dams next side slopes the side slopes we uh, uh, how much you have to provide the side slopes can be provided is the definitely they are not given that definitely uh, generally we have to take the slopes as per the ranges of the uh, two horizontal to one vertical and four horizontal to one vertical however these are the foundations of the weak side so this is the uh, side slopes can be provided but not only that they are also giving on table column regarding that how the side slopes can be taken of different conditions here see the preliminary we have to give some of the uh, side slopes are given in the conditions type of the material upstream slope and downstream slope or side of the slope so if it is the homogeneous well grain to east one and also to east one can be downstream side can be provided next homogeneous core silt and homogeneous silt clay Is equal to east one, two east to two point five east one, 
2 is to 2.5 less like that we have the given some of the conditions next if it is sand or sand gravel with the sensory clay, uh, uh, central uh, clay core may be provided how much you are given 2.5 is to 1 2.5 is to 1 next 2, 2 is to 2, uh, 2 is 2.5 is 2.25 is to 1 in the downstream sand can be you have to provide it next to sand or sand gravel with the rc diaphragm so diaphragm can be provided is 3 is to 1 3.5 is to 1 and 2.5 is to 1 this one these are the some of the definitions conditions are the given and different type of the zones and type of the materials can be applied different type of the conditions next to uh, next to free board how much we have to provide free board? The free board is very important as previously we discussed. The road flowing of the water will be the top road which will be the very much uh, failure of the earth and dams. So that's why you should have to provide some of the uh, free board of the uh, earth and dams. So well, reservoir, uh, as per the reservoir of the conditions to assuming that uh, maximum flex the it can be protected from the waves it can be provided inflow of the uh, in the rainy season how much the water can be take it also very important for the kind of storage capacity is the very important so the in those calculation we can design of the free board as per the requirements so generally the free board can be provided as for the Melter's formula, you have to provide it between 0 0.6 to 3 meters. This is the general providing of the free board. So, next the uh, free board can be generally take it as 1.5 times from the wave height. So, it is very important as I told, in the waves production in the upstream side, the waves continuously come due to the air effect. What happens? It can be slowly, it can be CPS, can be, it can be also draw down or fell down to fail you of the dam so that's why you have to provide the free certain free board can be provided on the top to protect the water of the top width so that is the main purpose of providing the top width of the dam next one is what are the causes of failures so up to this we have to discuss what is one by uh, earthen dams and types of the earthen dams and also how much design criteria, how much you have to take will be discussed. Next, uh, uh, causes of the failures. What are the failures? Hydraulic failures. Second one is seepage failures. And third one is structural failures. These are the three failures are very, very important to know the oil construction of the embankment or earth dams. Now, so, let us uh, first begin of the overtopping of the dam. In the hydraulic failures, the first one is hydro overtopping of the dam. Second one is erosion due to upstream surface. Third one is erosion due to the downstream phase. And fourth one is erosion due to the downstream toe. So these are the four types of the earth and dams. Next to hydraulic failures. Most probably 40% of the uh, uh, earth and dams can fail due to the hydraulic structures, hydraulic failures only. So that to be uh, by overtopping. What is meant by overtopping? The overtopping may be dam can be designed uh, capacity underestimated. For suppose the inflow capacity and outflow capacity cannot be estimated and properly in the in the flood, flood time, uh, most of the water comes here and it can be moves to this one. If it is provided in such type of the, it can be stored up to this level. So that is the main overtopping. We can, we can protect the dam in the sides uh, and the upstream side very important in the uh, overtop, reduce the overtopping. Next, this is the overtopping side. Let us see that one. The overtop, what happens? The water will be overflows from the stove. Uh, that's why the certain area will be the damage. Automatically, the dam will be the phase. Next, erosion to the upstream phase. Erosion to the upstream phase means the wave Next, erosion due to upstream phase. The waves developed near the top water surface due to the winds and uh, uh, not uh, and any any other uh, streams in the top will be the one of the reason to the erosion in the upstream phase. And uh, the waves are continuously, as I told, comes it comes here and it can bombarding the sides of the upstream side 
automatically it can be damaged in the upstream side. So that is the also erosion the upstream side will be the very important and also to protect the upstream side is very important to uh, some of the uh, and animals to uh, cannot be uh, holes on the upstream side to leakage of the water. Just a cracking due to the front action. So this is not uh, um, front action, nothing but the front upper portion of the dam may be cause having the cracking of the soil. So let us see in the top width. To, uh, so in the summer area, what happens? A small cracks will be developed here. So from this one, out of the some due to some the water can be comes from the upstream side due to of the holes which is uh, two sides can be open automatically it can be water can be filled the dam will be the fails. So that is the uh, the maximum say one point five meters should be provided providing the dams areas of the temperatures. That is the temperature due to temperature it will be also the taking care. Gully formation. In the gully formation of the erosion of the phase is uh, how the rains are uh, falling directly over the downstream phase and erosion action due to moving of the water. Ultimately, the loading of the dam can be fails. Next to uh, erosion due to the downstream side. So, how the erosion will do downstream side? The downstream side erosion which also may be eroded due to the two reasons. The first one is erosion to the cross. Uh, currents it may be comes from the spillway. So why the spillway action so properly you are not providing the spillway of these sides. It can be water can be comes from this one automatically the sides of the water can be weak and uh, the soil can be eroded here in the downstream side. So proper spillway can be provided provision is very important a construction of the dams. Next to second one is uh, CPS failures. How the CPS failures? The CPS failures are very important. CPS failures, what happened? The control of the CPS is uh, are limited uniform CPS interval and individual all the earthen dams can be most probably affected in the CPS only. How uncontrolled or controlled CPS to the, the dam due to the foundation to the and also due to the piping of the pipe, different type of the conditions will be seepage failures. Piping in the foundations, how the piping in the foundations, the water which is stored here, here one side, piping in the foundation from one side to other side, first of all this is the earthen dams, piping is the slowly in the downstream side and the weak point it can be comes from this one slowly travel from one side to other side. What happens? <coughs> Sorry. One side to other side. Continuously it can one side to other side we call it as piping through the foundations. That is the most probably important. Let us see in the diagram you can understand easily how the foundation can be eroded. See this is a very good example for the foundation of the earthen dams. Let us see here. The piping of the foundation of the previous foundations from one side to other side. So it can be traveled by the porous materials. It can be slowly travels from bottom of that one. So slowly it can be uh, failure from the bottom to foundation to drop. Automatically the earthen uh, dams can be failed. That is the piping through the foundation. Next, piping through the dam. Let us see. In the piping through the dam, let us see that one. The inside of that one, it is also some of the weak of the area can be water can be travel from one side to other side. <coughs> Sorry. Water can be travel from one side to other side. So that is the foundation in the top. Let us see that one. The piping of the or same manner, so I explain the foundation piping leading to the farm. Hallows, any of the hallows can be seen in the top in the dam. So the water can be automatically uh, comes from one side to other side. So that is the piping of the through the dams. So that is the 
slogging in the downstream side. The process of slogging downstream side to become saturated or get eroded due to the slogging of the downstream side. The slogging of the toy must be the process of failure due to the slogging starts in the downstream to become saturated. The water can be already wet uh, due to the absorption of the water of the soil that is the absorption of downstream side from the uh, CPH line. So becomes a saturated and get many eroded. Uh, this is the one of the siding of the due to the soft and weak of the foundation. Let us see in the upstream side MWL. So how the due to a wave action uh, it can be failures of the earth and dance from the upstream side. A slide in embankment. Uh, let us embankment is also side slopes are two uh, streams of the soil. It may cause also one of the uh, major uh, causes of the side of the side of the slide embankment. So this is a slide embankment is also there given on the upstream side rapid due to the downstream side sliding due to the total it can be draw down. That is also one of the failure of the uh, next CPS control uh, through the embankment. Next to sea base control due to the embankment dams, uh, rock toe and horizontal blanket and chimney drains. The rock toe, horizontal blanket and chimney. These three are the main to protect the control of the dams in the sea base. And not only that, it can be controlled uh, by the by providing the upstream and downstream that providing the drainage facilities. Can filters can be provided to a uh, water can be removed the inside. So that is the wet conditions can be removed and water can be comes out from through the dyes that is a very important to maintaining of the dam in the periodic line. Uh, next uh, rock toe or track toe filters are uh, toe filters. So let us see that is the uh, this is also one of the protection of the filters. Let us see some of the layers can be provided here in the so this is a periodic line of course it is periodic line. So Sand filters and coarse sand and gravel and rock. The first one, the very first more thing is 15 centimeters from each of the thickness can be provided. And from this one, rock toe can be provided and the gravel and the coarse sand, fine sand. Like these are different layers can be provided in the toe of the to filter the water, water which is comes from the periodic line can be filtered and can be comes from the outside to the drains. That is the main important thing. It's horizontal blanket and horizontal filters. The horizontal filters is nothing but here provided in that one. The horizontal filters also providing the gravel, sand and layers. Difference of the layers can be provided due horizontally can be water which is comes absorbed and can be comes from the outside. That is the very important uh, the horizontal blanket of the filters. Next drain filters also can be provided in the same position manner. Next is chimney drains. So what is the chimney drains? Let us see. The chimney type can be provided at the dams. Here see in the upstream side. See that one. So the filter of the materials can be provided here. So which is absorbed here not allowed from this one so that is the this is also constructed with the sand and gravel materials also but it can be protected by the chimney type can be provided to all the drains this is also one of the type of the protection of the uh, seepage of the water control next to uh, see impervious uh, cutoff trenches so see here very very important thing we have to be discuss here Water in the previously the failure of the dam is one of the due to the piping from one side to other side we have to discuss here to how to avoid this one to provide the upstream side a cutoff trench walls to be constructed in that one side to, to, to provide the failures of the sea phase in the foundation. So that's why they are cutoff trench can be provided in one side that is the main important the depth of the impervious layers is very large. And cutoff trenches uh, cutoff provided, and uh, so much the 50 percent depth can be reduced to discharge uh, discharge of the 65 percent. So depth will be reduced to 65 percent 
also this is one of the best thing to provide the uh, protection of the foundations in the earth and dams impervious cut off next uh, next one is uh, relief falls of the drains so this is also one of the provided uh, drainage when we provided from one side to other side which is allowed from the drains from the sand filters can be provided from this this the water can be flow it easily why because this impervious materials from this one it can be removed of the sand filters water from that one next to sand uh, boiling phenomena this is also one of the phenomena to cut off water can be absorbed here and it can be travel from this uh, layer and it is the provided in the core in the downstream side to protect the water and it will not allow to the failures in the downstream side that is one of the best thing to be provided in the downstream side okay this is also one of the best thing to providing in the downstream side next to this is a large view of the drain of the trench is also uh, one of the best thing to be provided in the uh, downstream side layers sand filters can be provided here with concrete block and rising of the pipe so it is also one of the protection of the water in the sea phase water can be downstream side of the earth and dams provision the downstream side so dams can be provided in the downstream side is also one of the best thing of the providing in the downstream side of the dams to these are the uh, uh, of course these are all the protection of the sea phases in the out controlling the failures of the earth and dams as we discussed up to this one so thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates